So in this video, I want to show you how I organize my buses. So I have a session and it's all blank. It's 50 tracks. So let's pretend you just got this from a client. You have reverbs, delays. Before I do any edits, clean up the track, I want to look at the buses and make sure everything is named properly. Now, I don't really care about this, the audio tracks. I know a lot of people like to name stuff and that's great. I do it too. So what I want to do, I want to go to setup, IO, go to the bus tab and look at their buses. Hopefully it's named properly. What I would do is I will get rid of the stuff that's not being used and I'll start importing my own configuration. I'll go to file, import session data, locate my template. Forget about that message and I'll just select what I need. Press OK. And when I'm done, now it's going to import all of the stuff that I need. Now I might get a little confusing because you're going to have their stuff and your stuff at the same time. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to IO. I'm going to select everything in here. I'm going to delete. Press OK. So let's say the session came like this and they didn't name anything. Let's say you receive a session from a Pro Tools first user. I believe they can't rename the buses by default. So let's say you got one of those sessions. You got to figure out where everything is going. But let's say you do that. You want to keep that stuff there. You get rid of the stuff you don't need. OK, now I'm going to import my template. So we're all done. So I have my template imported and I want to look at the buses. So now I have their buses here and my buses as well. But honestly, it's still a little messy for me. But if that's the way you got to do things, that's fine. When I get one of those sessions that I have to work off of their work. And what I mean by that, I got a mix and they really like how it sounds. I just have to take it that 10%, 5%, whatever it is, just to get the thing done. But if you can start from scratch, let me show you what I do. Let's get rid of all these tracks that I just imported. So I'm going to delete everything. And OK, there we go. We got rid of all of that. So let's just pretend that I just got this from a client. All the tracks are here, 50 plus tracks. And they told me, well, Ray, you could do whatever you want. You can remove all the plugins, bring the faders down and just mix it your way. Now, of course, before I do that, I want to print the track because I've heard clients say that before. And when you give them your mix, they're still going to be listening to their mix. So, you know, just print it and reference every now and then. So that's just a quick tip there. So we're going to do the same setup. IO. Buses. I want to get rid of all their stuff. Delete. Highlight the first track. Select everything here. Usually I would select some of these options too but I'm not going to for this video and let it import the tracks. All right, so now I'm going to take this track and bring it down here. So I want everything to line up correctly. Now check this out. If I go to the buses, I know exactly what's going on because I created this. Now the next thing I would do, I would just reassign all my tracks to where they need to go. So I'm going to go to the bus and sub bus and there we go everything is ready to go so let's say you didn't want to do all of that you didn't want to import your template there's another way so let's go ahead and create 50 tracks let's take a look at the io remove everything now we can import our settings i have something already here called ray gio and check that out so now Press OK. And I have all my buses set up exactly how I like it. So how do you do that? Go to Setup, I.O. Choose this option here, Export Settings. Call it whatever you want, Save. And you can always import those settings. Now, this doesn't only work for buses. Let's say you have an audio interface with multiple inputs and outputs. Let's say from your audio interface, you're going to a console. So whenever you import a session that's not yours, it might change all of that. Having this capability to import your own I.O. setting is extremely important. 